everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to a real fun episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And with maybe what, just a couple of weeks left of school holidays, um, we thought that we would check out and test some acrylic pouring kits. Yes. This is the first one that we're going to have a go at. Now, I said that the school is out, so that kind of implies that this is a kid's kit, but actually, this doesn't have an age range on it. No. Um, and so I don't think that this is a particularly kiddie focused kit. I think it's just a kit that literally anyone can do. So um, we thought we'd give it a go. Yeah. We're going to test it exactly as it is in the box. So um, we might not add in any other products if it's not there, because if it's not in the box, then they don't want you to use it. Right. Okay. Um, but we are going to follow the instructions and we're going to see what kind of compositions that we get out of it. This set that we both got, we both got the same set, is the Oreo Starry Night Kit. Ooh. And I think this one has a hexagonal canvas in it. So um, I'm interested to see what happens. Now, I bought these on Amazon, and I will put the link to this set in the description box, and I'll actually flash up just below here as well, the price. Yes. Because I can't remember it, and it's on my phone, <laughs> which is what you're watching us on. Um, so, um, I'll let you know exactly how much it is, and we'll see if it's value for money or not. Yeah, sure. Looking at it, what are you thinking? I think it's actually a wonderfully displayed box. Right. right? It shows like different pieces of fluid art on it. Right. Um, it has your 14 starry night, like it says 14 starry night, so I'm, I'm guessing it has 14 paints in here. Um, it does not, not. It has those it has four. four. Yeah, oh, okay. I think it's number 14, which is oh, starry, starry night. night. Yeah. Ah, I see. So there must be different, like. Yeah, there is different designs. Different designs. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, it has like, hmm. I, I think I think it's a cute, a cute presentation I on think this so. kit. I think so. It says it says there's 15 pieces in this box. It says that we've got four paints, one stretch canvas, some silicon oil. We've got disposable tablecloth, nice. craft sticks, and some gloves. That's great. So, what I suggest that we do, sir, is unbox these and see what happens. I think we should. I, I, we haven't opened these, so we don't right, even know <laughs> what's in these boxes. <laughs> we it could be them. nothing to do with acrylic paint, but but we'll see. Um, all right, let's have a look. Let's, let's, let's open it. these up. Let's see what is in it's here. It's like Christmas in here. <laughs> it is like Christmas. Okay. Okay, so you're you were faster than I am. I was faster. I know, I can't wait to get it. Oh it's not a rectangular canvas, it's actually a square canvas. No, you mean it's a rectangular canvas. <laughs> it's not a hexagon. Not a hexagon. hexagon exactly. Hexagonal. Hexagonal. Well they give you a lot of paints, actually. Oh, these are four ounces. These are yeah. And they're beautiful colours. It's like there's two different blues in here. They have titanium blue. They have ultramarine blue. These are gorgeous colors. They have mauve, which is a beautiful purple color. Right. And then they have purple. Right. Yeah. Let's see, we've got a little box here as well. So there's a little box in here. I'm guessing yeah. this is the craft sticks, maybe? Uh, oh, no, no silicone oil. oil. Huh. Yes, it feels like silicone oil. Yeah, it is, it is. It's silicone oil, it's a little greasy. Okay. So I don't see any craft sticks as yet, but I'm guessing I craft sticks, I don't see gloves. But then you know what? Let's look in the back of the canvas. Maybe they're back there. They are indeed. Oh. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, they're right here in there. We got it. Okay. Let's lay these little bits and pieces out. Oh, we've got our, our tablecloth here as well. Oh, that's right, yeah, let's Ooh, use that. There's lots of gloves. I kind of appreciate the fact that there's more than one pair of gloves. That's kind of right. cool. Um, yes, let's use the, let's use the tablecloth, right? Because it's in the set, so let's use it and see what happens. I am seeing some issues. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna wait until you get to, to the same place that I am. I'm trying to hurry. No, it's okay, no, no, no need. Okay, I got my paints lined up. And what I like is, I got my craft sticks here, got my gloves. Now, something that I do like is, there is a paint guide here, a pre-mixed little paint guide. 
and um, it says color schemes, easy techniques, awesome effects. Okay, so where you said that this was number 14, yes. I think you've basically got all the other kits advertised okay. here as well. You do. Fire and Ice, Lost in the Jungle, Fireworks, Stunning, Candy, Candy Glorious, Flashing Neon, First Love, Beach. Beach. Oh, here's Starry Night. So this is the kit that we've got here today. Cute. Ocean, Simplicity, Phoenix. Okay, and then some, and then some information. Yeah. So what it's got at the very back is two different sets of instructions. One set of instructions for a tree wing with no silicon oil, and then a set of instructions for a flip, flip cup with silicon oil. Yes. So I suggest we do each one. Okay, so do you want me to do the ring or the flip cup? It's up to you. Um, why don't you do a flip cup since you, I know, why don't you do the rain cord since I normally do rain cords. Yeah? Yeah, but then, I'll do the flip cup. And then you're gonna use the silicon oil. I will use the silicon Okay, oil. there we go. All right, process of elimination, that has been sorted. <laughs> Thank you, show pony. It is. Okay. A little warm. It is a little warm. Yes, it's like 100 degrees here in, in Plano, Texas. It so is. that's why we're sweating a lot. So, the things that I think and I see that we're already missing are there's no plastic cups. No. So if we're going to flip cup and we're going to tree ring, what is the expectation that we're going to do those things out of? Right. Now, if you don't have like plastic cups laying around the house, then there's your first problem. Yeah. You've got to go buy plastic cups. I did notice that the canvas is not a great quality. So this canvas is already like, you know, dimpled at the edges and it's bowing. We will spray this with water to yeah. tighten this up a little bit. However, if you didn't know that trick, then you're gonna get stuck with a kind of, you know, less quality canvas. It is only small though. What size is that? Is that like six that's by eight? By a, that's, a, that's 11 by a 14. Hmm. I'm not sure that it actually is. I think it's a little smaller than 11 by 14. Really? Yeah, I think that's, we'll measure it. Let's, okay. let's measure it. So we just measured this canvas and it's nine by 12. Nine by 12? Nine by 12. Nine by 12. Yeah, but like I, what I already see is dimples and divots and kind of, you know, indentations in the canvas. So if you didn't know to spray the back of your canvas with a little bit of water, then you might pour on this with like a, you know, a canvas that's not quite so tight, right. you know? Yeah. So, um, you know, listen, maybe it's just the cost of the actual kit itself. You know, you didn't, they couldn't afford to put a, really fancy schmancy canvas in here. Yeah. But um, I feel like that canvas could be a little better. Anyway. Well, if it's a beginner's, you know, if it's a beginner's type set. Set. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I should keep all my judgments till the end, I guess. Um, but no plastic cups. No plastic cups either to like raise the canvas off the table. Exactly. So that's, that could potentially be another issue because you're gonna like lose the composition on your sides. But what I do appreciate is six stir sticks mm. and I do appreciate a couple of sets of gloves. So let me get the gloves on. Now, Jeremy, would you just go and grab us some of our small plastic pots, please? All right, so we did just grab, because we clearly needed to, a plastic cup. Yes. Because we both got to either ring pour or flip cup into the actual cups. And Jeremy has raised his canvas using shop cups. Yes. Just because that's what we would normally do. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep mine on this plastic sheet that they provided just to use the products that they sent us. So I'm doing the tree ring with no silicon oil. So following these instructions, there are six instructions. The first one is this. Prepare the pouring paint and tools, have a clean workspace for creating your beautiful pour project. Yes. What does yours say for number one? Mine says flip cone with silicone oil. Mm -hmm. um, it says, um, one, prepare the pouring paints and tools, having a clean workspace is essential for creating beautiful pour projects. Mm -hmm. So on number two for me, it says that I actually should decant the colors into plastic cups. So, and it's got a picture of all the colors in, in little pots. So I'm going to do exactly what it says. I'm going to pour each of the color. And we're not gonna use it all clearly. I'll just use the same amount. I'm gonna pour a little bit of each of these colors into these plastic pots. Which kind of seems a little silly to me because then I'm gonna pour it into another pot. I don't know why I just couldn't pour this out of the tube. Right. But again, Gonna follow what it says. 
And what is the consistency of the paint? Oh, good question. These are pre-mixed pouring paints. So um, I would say, let's have a quick look. I'm gonna take my stir stick. These are runny. These are definitely not mounding in any way. This is kind of the consistency that I would use for a Dutch pour. It's a very thin consistency. Um, there's no mound on there at all. So this is definitely a very thin pour. Got it. Okay. Okay. Do you want to do your next stage? Yes, so stage two, layer each color into a single cup and add half pipe of silicone of oil in turn. So let's pour this in here. Now the one thing it doesn't tell you to do is how much of the color to put in. Yeah. So we just eyeball this kind of knowing how much we're gonna to need to go onto the canvas. Again, if you're, not, if you're not a regular paint pourer, that might be a little confusing. You know, it doesn't say to pour all the tubes or half the tubes. It doesn't give you an idea of how much consistency you need for this type of canvas. So um, I guess it would be just trial and error at that point. Yeah. I'm pouring just enough in the cup so that way I know like four of these is going to make almost a full cup of this. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, that one and that one. I'm going to do this one. My first observations of the colors are that they actually are very pretty colors. And the mauve is actually a pearl. So all the others are just flat colors. Um, the mm. titanium, blue, the ultramarine and the purple are all just you know regular colors, whereas the mauve, 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 mauve is actually a pearl. Something I noticed: if you look in the cup, the paint and, and they need to be shaken because this came out, and it's and it, as you can see here, it's not fully. I think that's the pearl color. That's the pearl color. Yes. So they need to be shaken okay. before you pour them out and not stirred and not stirred. <laughs> Just like a good martini. Oh, it's yeah. not a pearl color. No. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. It's not actually a pearl color at all. It actually just wasn't, it wasn't Stirred. combined properly. Yeah. Huh, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. That ultramarine blue is gorge. All right. So my next, oh no, you've got to add your silicone oil. Um, okay, so it says add half a pipe in each color. Yeah, it means in all of them. That's a lot of silicone. It is. I mean, that's a lot of silicone. But let's follow the instructions. Okay. Because if you didn't know any differently, then that's exactly what you would do, right? We're testing these instructions just as much as we are the paints. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. That just seems like an awful lot of silicone to me. Half a pipe. That works, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's it. Half a pipe. Yeah, listen, whenever we would put silicone, did you do it in this one too? Yeah, I did yeah. it in all of them. I think, no, you didn't do it in all of them. So when we would use silicone before, we'd done drops, like literal drops of silicone. All right, so this is where we're at. Step two. So we've each got our colors into our pots. Yes. Jeremy has added silicone oil into his flip cup. I did. And then the next thing is, is it says, combine the colors into one cup, pour in slowly to layer the colors and avoid over mixing. And yours is exactly the same. Thing. So it doesn't tell you how to do it. So this is kind of where you would just use your own creativity. Mm. So um, here is your cup, sir. Now pour those colors into your pot. Okay. And it says slowly to avoid over mixing. Now in the picture that I've got on my piece, they've been puddled into the center of the cup. They've not been layered down the side of the cup. So um, if I'd never done this before, I would look at that picture and think, okay, I just pour these right on top of each other in the middle of the cup. Okay. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Me too. Okay. Now I am, however, gonna use my own intuition because I know I'm gonna go light, dark, light, dark. Those colors absolutely mixed. I don't think mine did. 
we're gonna have to use more of the color though, I can tell you that right now. Look, I'm, I'm pouring these on top of each other and uh, they've basically created a, a dirty pour. I'm pouring them slowly. Okay, so the, the, the dark purple has poured on top. The other three colors did not. So the mauve is definitely, definitely falling to the bottom of the cup. Really? Yeah. And also the blue. No, the blue's actually now falling on top. Okay. I'm getting more of a layered effect. You do. Which is funny because we've got the same colours. Maybe I was just pouring too fast. You've got more or less the same amount of paint that I have. I just think I'm going to need more paint. Well, I guess this is one of the problems of it not giving you the information of how much paint to put in your plastic cups. Right. But let's keep going and see what happens. Okay. So then the next step for me is start to pour. The first color you pour into the cup will be the last that appears on the surface and likely the most prominent. Now, it doesn't tell you to pour this cup in a ring. It just says, start to pour. Right. And the picture that it has here in the little booklet is of a person just kind of pouring it straight onto a canvas. It doesn't, again, say to pour it in a ring. Would you know to do a ring if it's called a tree ring? Would you know that you have to like circle the cup? Maybe if it's called a tree ring, I mean, I personally would be like, okay, I need to do rings. Okay. But I mean, I don't know. You know, I don't know, but I'm gonna do it that way just because, you know, we, we the picture that it does show you on the other side does show some rings. It does. So, okay, I'm gonna ring this one onto the canvas and see what happens. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, now the one thing it does say on the instructions is the first colour you pour into the cup will likely be, will, like, will be the last to appear on your surface and be the most prominent. So that's kind of good. That's good thing. Yeah, that's that. good advice. Yeah. All right, so what does your say next? Yeah, mine says, um, well, number four, mm -hmm. it actually shows how to do the flip cup. Okay. So it's showing a the canvas and then the cup underneath and then you flip both of those over. So okay. it's showing you how to flip the cup. Okay, that's good. Um, for a beginner, that's a great thing. Right. So it's telling me to take the canvas, put it like this, and then flip it over. Okay. And I'm gonna put it back on top of my cups here. Now, it says place surface face on top of cup and flip over. Now, going on to number five, it says tilt. No, okay, that's going into tilting the surface. Now. But it does show you a picture of like picking up the picking cup. Up the cup. Okay. It does. All right. So for me, then it says to tilt the surface to distribute the paint until the canvas is covered. Okay. Yes. So let's get to this, Jeremy. Yes. This is pouring paint kit tilting time. <laughs> pouring paint til kit tilting, tilting time. time. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. So. I'm gonna tilt this one out. I do love all those like colors that I've got in the central ring. I'm definitely gonna yeah. try and keep them. This ring actually came out stunning on here. There definitely was absolutely enough paint. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of... Oh, that big thing of blue? Yeah. Take the ring down to the bottom. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a little bit Take it back up to the middle. Open it up. That's coming out just beautiful. Well, oh, thank you, baby. And then we'll, we'll stretch down to this bottom corner. Now, because I haven't got any push pins on here or anything, I'm kind of strategically trying to grab the sides of the canvas so that I can tilt this one out. I don't know if you can see this, but because the canvas is a little... Wobbly. Yeah, it's kind of getting a little bit hard to kind of tilt over the edges. Yeah. I had just the right amount of paint on here though, however. Okay. So that's my ring. I think it's a huge success. Can you see that, guys? I mean, it's definitely a tree ring paw. I've got rings on here. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy now. Now, because I didn't use my cups, I'm just gonna place this one right back down onto the yeah, plastic the surface. Plastic. Yeah. Okay. That's me finished for, for now. So that was tilting the surface to just read the paint until the canvas is covered. And then it says wipe away any excess paint from the bottom and then leave to dry overnight. So that's hard to do when there's no, it doesn't tell you to like elevate the canvas. And it also doesn't tell you to like get your corners, which I'm gonna do real quick. Okay. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, okay. Jeremy, you, get, you grab yours next. Okay, I have, to show, I have to show everybody what's happening here. Right. Look what happened with my flip cup, how the paint, <laughs> it disappeared from the top to the bottom like that. Now that'll be the silicone oil. That's the silicone oil, I'm guessing. So, I am very interested to see what's gonna happen now. So I'm going to pick up my cup. Exactly as it shows you. Exactly as it shows me. Instructions. Yes. Okay, so as you can see, I picked up my cup. I'm having a lot of the purple and the blue come up. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. What does the next instruction say? It says tilt surface to distribute the paint until the canvas all is covered. So tilting time the surface. Tilting time on the surface. To distribute the paint until the canvas is all covered up. Okay. All right. right well, I would say it is now flip cup tilting time. Flip cup tilting time. Let's do it. Move my instructions out of the way here. I just moved my piece out of the way as well, just so that you were, uh, just so you didn't tilt all over me. Let's see here, let's see what opens up. With the amount of silicone that you put in this pour, I'd expect there to be a ton of cells. Well, there, it's, it's opening up nicely. That's for sure. I can kind of bum that I'm going to have to lose some of these cells right here to go over this edge. You're right, though, it is definitely it's hard to tilt. Hard right? to tilt without putting like pins on the back of it. I'm gonna stretch these cells open from over here. Okay. Because a lot's starting to happen. See that you've taken that yeah. edge off. This way a little bit. Yeah. I'm digging it. I see all the dimples in the paint because the silicone is under there. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what happens as it sits. Well, I'll tell you what would be really interesting. What's that? Torching it. 
they, the, the one thing that this kit doesn't tell you to do because it hasn't provided it, I'm guessing, yeah. and, and maybe expects that you don't have one lying around, is torching the pieces. Yeah. Um, if you torch that, you'll get crazy cells because of right. the amount of silicone you put into it. Right. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to leave it the way it is or do you want to give it a torch? I think we should leave it the way it is. Yeah? Yeah, because it doesn't say to torch it, so I think we should just leave it as is. But it didn't say to put yours on plastic cup. You kind of got me there. You did get me there. <laughs> <laughs> I smart. I think we should torch it. Okay, let's torch it. Uh, listen, this is an experiment. It is an These experiment. canvases will not be sold on the MassyArtStudios.com website. Oh, will they? No, they won't. Um, <laughs> so it's not like we're going to ruin this one. Yeah, let's go ahead and torch like, it. I want to see what. I want to use there. the small torch though on this. Not no, 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 big. come on. Oh, for God's sake. Come That's on, let's use the big kill. torch. Get at it. That's a lot of okay. okay, I'll do it for you. <laughs> a little happened, but not a lot, actually. Yeah. A little happened, like up here in that Yeah, corner. I see that, because that was where you had all those little mauve, yeah. mauve, we say in England, cells anyway. Yeah. Um, one thing I've noticed is that the paint is really sticky. It is really sticky. Have you noticed that? Well, mine's not because there's a silicone in it, actually. But, um, yeah. but mine is, can you hear that, guys? It's like really sticky paint. So whatever the pouring medium is that they've put into it probably has some kind of gloss medium in there. Oh yeah. Because huh. it's it's definitely got some kind of varnish element to it, I would suggest. Um, I don't hate yours either. No. I mean, for, for a kit set, yeah. if you were just gonna like have a go and produce this, I don't think that would be something that would be terrible. I know, exactly. I think right? it actually came out the way that it was supposed to come out with the silicone and everything. Knowing, you know, knowing how silicone can take over and make just make the painting just go crazy. Right. Um, I think that this actually came out rather well. I think so too. Now it does say to wipe away the excess paint from the bottom. Okay. So it is telling you to grab your edges with popsicle sticks. I actually tipped you out some paper towel there if you need it. Okay. I'm a little disappointed that you didn't get more cells for the amount of silicone that you put in there. There's a lot of cells popping up though. You think? But I think the more it sits, I think the more cells are gonna pop. Well, we'll see. So that's the end of the instructions. Okay. Yeah. Um, what we got in here is the four paints, the silicone, the canvases, some gloves, a plastic sheet, and some popsicle sticks to yes. clean off the edges. Jeremy, yes. tell me your observations. Give me the, the positives. What are the pros? The pros is, I think, even though the, the paints are a little thin, yeah. I think they were just the right consistency for this, like for beginners. Um, I think that the, the colors were beautiful that they that they have in this kit. Fine. The canvas uh, for a beginner is the right size. Okay. It's not overwhelming. Fine. Um, and uh, I, I, I thought like my instructions were really good as far as like showing the flip cup, how much silicone to add in, Fine. that kind of thing. The only thing, um, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of positives to this action. Oh, I would add to that that you get a really decent amount of paint. You do. This is a four ounce tube, and I would say that we haven't even used half, half of it. Yeah, so that way you could you could do like another one, another canvas. Absolutely, maybe even a bigger canvas if you just had one lying at home. Yeah, um, and I agree. I do really love the colors, the cons. So. There's no push pins or no no mention of plastic cups yeah. on the box. It doesn't say you're gonna need extra items to be able to do these pours. Exactly. So it doesn't tell you to raise the canvases off. You know, basically it's just telling you to put these on the plastic sheet. Yeah. Um, another con for me is that the instructions aren't very new user friendly. If you are an absolute beginner, to paint pouring, and this was the very first thing that you did without seeing YouTube channels or really yeah. knowing all about paint pouring, there's a lot of steps that it really does miss. It didn't tell me to ring out of my can, out of my yeah. pot, for example. Yeah. I kind of guessed that because it's called a tree ring. I would also have told the instruction, the instruction for me would have been to pour the paints down the side of the cup rather than puddle. However, I did still get a really good composition. You did. Um, I don't like the fact we didn't get the plastic cups to pour out of, never mind the ones to actually stand the canvas on. Or at least a mention of, right. of, of you're gonna uh, need them. You're gonna need them. It doesn't tell me that I'm gonna need, for example, to get my edges. You know, it doesn't say, you know, to tidy up the sides. Yeah. Again, I guess that might be common sense. And doesn't tell us to torch. 
that makes sense to me if it is made for children. However, yeah. this set doesn't have an age range on it. You know, it doesn't say five yeah. and up, three and up or whatever. Um, so yeah, overall, you know, some good positives and some good negatives. Yeah. If you were to give this set a score out of 10, show pony, what would you give it? I honestly, I think I would give it a solid eight. You're so generous. <laughs> And so very nice. Um, I, I would probably say a five really? out of ten. Yeah, I'm. I'm disappointed that it didn't have all of the kit needed to pour. Scrooge McDuck over here. Yeah. Well, listen. <laughs> if I'm going to buy a kit and it says it's a pre-mixed paint pouring kit, I want to open this box and just pour. I wouldn't know that if if I had like plastic cups lying around the house. Yeah. You know, if, if we didn't have a ton of them sitting in the studio. Um, so that to me was a little disappointing. Didn't tell me how much to put into my cups either for this size canvas. And that would be a really easy thing to say. Yes. You know, it could tell you to put a quarter of the tub in, for example, the tube in. Yeah. So yeah, I think five out of 10 is a, is a good mark. It definitely created some wonderful pieces, but I think that was because we used our know-how rather than the kit telling us what to do. Yeah, right. And this is supposed yeah, to be a I kit. I might go down to a seven. See? I, sh I always win debate class. I mean, it's, just, it's just one of those natural abilities. Don't get too excited, it was only one point. I know, I know. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. There you have it. I enjoyed that. It was fun. Yeah? I, I, I actually enjoyed it. That's why I gave it a higher score. Because, okay. because it was fun. Um, it was fun. The instructions were easy to follow. You know, if... It, it, yeah. The instructions were was... easy to follow if you had additional know-how. That was my only concern. Got it. Um, but you're entitled to your opinion. Mine is just different. Um, yours is definitely selling up more as it's sitting, which yes. is which is really cool. So it'll be interesting to see how these dry. And I'm interested to see whether I can just peel this off the canvas, uh, off the plastic. plastic. Yeah, to see if that really comes off easily. Yeah. Um, but overall, this is a decent kit. If Absolutely. you're going to buy this, know you're going to need some additional pieces, yes. some additional equipment, and um, also I would say just a bit of know-how was really going to help too. Yes, okay. absolutely. I mean, if you're if you're seeing this video and you're thinking about starting to, to paint and stuff and that kind of thing, great kit to get. Yeah. I would say I would say watch other artists. You know, watch us, watch other artists. You know, get a little bit of tips here and there, and then try it. I mean, right. it's, a, it's a good little kit, as long as you, like Lee said, you have a little bit of know-how of like the little tips of the, you know, tips of the trade you right. know, are. Um, but yeah, I think it's a cute kit. Okay, there you go, there you have it, folks. This is yeah. the Oreo Paint Pouring Kit Testing video. Yes. Next one, it's gonna be a pendulum pour. Um, it's kind of a, a second attempt at this one because our first attempt we've already done a couple of weeks ago and yes. learned from that pour. Yes. Show Pony's going to pick the colours this time around. I picked those blues last time. So, um, yeah, for Friday's episode, let's do another pendulum and see what happens. That's awesome. I think we should. It's going to be a huge canvas. I think it's a 30 by 48. Yes. Or 36 by 38. So it's going to be a biggie. Three foot by four foot. Right. Yeah. Thank you for being here with us on this little test, little fun video. Um, you all have a great Tuesday. Thank you for joining us in the premiere. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you here on Friday. Yes. Thanks everyone. Bye guys. Have a good evening. So we want to take a moment to spank. Spank? <laughs> <laughs> spank some very special people. <laughs> <laughs> We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So there are some people that we would very much like to thank, and that's our Massey Posse, yes. or the MPs as we like to call them. 
So at the gold level, we've got Mary Doulas. We've got Amy Gardner, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Crafty Chicken Mom. We've got Linda Serian. We have Nate Bright. Gloria Salaki, who we like to call Glitzy. We've got Terry Leshner. We've got Donna Patterson, Stephanie Hancock, and Trisha West. Now, at the platinum level, we have Donna Panis, we have Janice and Steve Pittman, and we have Leslie Beaver. And at our diamond level, our one and only, you all know her, you will all love her, we do too. <laughs> it is Sparkles. Sparkles. Laurie Finzer is our diamond pourer. So to all you guys and everyone else that's listed down below, thank you so very much. We really do genuinely appreciate you wanting to be a Patreon and a Massey Pora. And uh, yeah, we look forward to sharing more of this journey with you all. Thank you guys. Thanks guys. <laughs>